Hey, what's up, guys? Matt Tyler 24 here, and today this is my Money in the Bank prediction video. So let's jump into it right away with the pre show. But first, before I do that, get the WWE Network, guys. It's absolutely amazing. I've been seeing every pay per view, and I really, really am loving it. WWE is doing an amazing job. So if you guys are in the United States, it will be $9.99. If you guys are in. Canada, eleven ninety nine. Guys, get it. It's it's a waste of money if not. It really is uh, to watch a pay per view if you don't have the WWE Network. So um, yeah, enough of me rambling. Let's jump into the show with the pre show. King Barrett taking on our truth. Who who thought he was in the Money in the Bank match, which he's not. Anyway, pre show, King Barrett. Our truth Now, King Barrett has been kind of on a roll lately due to he did win the King of the Ring. And then he kind of just kept destroying and destroying. Hence why I think Barrett's going to come out on top. I want our truth to kind of get a, a little push, but I can't see it happening. Um, I believe King Barrett will actually come out on top in this one. Then we have the WWE Divas title match between Nikki Bella and Paige. Now, I don't know if it's just me or Nikki Bella's reign is really, really, really getting stale for me. I don't know what it is. I really don't. It's just, I I just don't like it. Um, and I want Paige to win tonight. However, I actually want her to lose it fairly quickly to Naomi because Paige has had it often too. And I'd rather see someone new capture the title. Therefore, I'd rather Naomi. Next, we have a match that I kind of don't like at all. But, I mean, Ryback does need someone to go against. So, they brought back Big Show, and they're like, Okay, you have an Intercontinental Championship match. Go. I don't really like it. I, I really don't like it. But... I want Ryback to come out on top due to he's getting a bit of a push. He has the Intercontinental Championship, and he just got it, so therefore he will still have it. So my prediction is for Ryback to come out on top. However, I'm really hoping that they don't use Ryback as the whole, like, you know, conquer Big Show, conquer um, Mark Henry, conquer all these big guys. I want him to go against people, squash matches, all of that, because they have to use the Intercontinental Championship a lot now, um, due to they are using the United States Championship a lot now. I believe that the Intercontinental Championship should be that second title again, and it doesn't seem like they're using that. They're using the U.S. Championship more, which I don't, excuse me, I don't really like. Next, we have the WWE Tag Team Title Match, and... It kind of sucks because I'm a really big fan of Cesaro and Tyson Kidd. But Tyson Kidd got hurt by Samoa Joe. And, you know, apparently he won't be back in a while. Well, it might happen that he won't be back in a while. So, um, I don't really, I don't like that. But, I mean, it's good that the primetime players are kind of getting a push. And I am kind of not liking the New Dades thing. But you're not supposed to. And, um, yeah. So, in this match, I want primetime players to come out on top. However, I want it to be something like a disqualification or something to further this rivalry because they did have a rivalry with Cesaro and Tyson Kidd happening. However, that went completely, yeah, kind of screwed up because Tyson Kidd got hurt. In other words, if Tyson Kidd and Cesaro were not hurt, they would be the tag team champions again, I believe. So, in other words, I want Prime Night players to come on top. However, I want it to be no contest or a disqualification or some sort of counter or something. I just don't want them to come on top and get the championships right away. Then we have the match which I'm looking forward to the most. I'm loving this rivalry and I'm pretty sure a lot of other people are loving this rivalry. It is Kevin Owens taking on John Cena in a rematch from Elimination Chamber. Kevin Owens, I'm loving. I mean, I've loved him since a while. Like, he's he's awesome. He's an awesome entertainer. Um, he's an awesome asshole when he comes into the ring. He's he's really, really good. 
um, and he makes you want to hate him, which is absolutely amazing. And I'm glad that they're putting him against Cena and kind of playing on that role that John Cena is Super Cena, and he needs to be like, he needs to stop that role. I'm liking how they're doing that because John Cena even said that he'd rather go heel, but it's just he needs to always go back to that. And I think this would be a way to put him into heel. However, it's not going to happen due to Kevin Owens is kind of like saying that, listen, you know, everything you stand for, it's complete BS. That's basically what he's saying. And John Cena is going to keep on fighting to like show otherwise. So therefore, I think John Cena will come on top and there will be yet another rematch. Come the next pay-per-view, which I don't know what it is, but anyway. The next pay-per-view, and it will be these two once again. Further in the rivalry even more, and having John Cena go against Kevin Owens for a couple of times, kind of like the Rusev rivalry. Eventually, Kevin Owens will get a U.S. Championship match, and I think this will be the perfect way to pass over the torch to Kevin Owens. However, a lot of people will disagree on this due to... He just came up, and he he might just get a championship right away. However, Kevin Owens is deserving of that. Kevin Owens has been doing this for 15 years, and he just got off the WWE. He got a huge push, huge reaction in the Elimination Chamber, and I believe that he deserves something that it's concrete and something that he knows that he'll hold on to him for a long time. Next, we have the Money in the Bank ladder match, ladies and gents. The co-main event. Now, that's going to be a hell of a match, and I don't even know who really is going to win. However, I do have a scenario, but I will be talking about that later on. In a, in a couple of minutes, roughly. There is many, many possibilities in this. There's always many, many possibilities. And there's now seven people in this matchup. There's Dolph Ziggler... Adrian Neville, Roman Reigns, Randy Orton, Kofi Kingston, Sheamus, and Kane. Kane's definitely not going to win this. I'm telling you that right now. Because there has been talk, and I'm pretty sure everyone is kind of noticing it, that there's going to be a change, a heel turn, as you may say, in tonight's pay-per-view. What I think is actually going to happen. It's kind of far-fetched. But I'm pretty sure it will be what's happening tonight. Neville not going to win. Neville has just came in. He's amazing. I'm going to see some amazing high-flying moves tonight. I'm going to love it. However, he's not going to come out on top. Due to they're not going to give him that push right away. Dolph Ziggler. Too many concussions. I want him to win. But it's not going to happen. Randy Orton. He's got a push. He's got a, a big push um, a while ago when he went against Seth Rollins. However, they're kind of going to put him back into that not main event, but kind of in the middle or near main event and kind of push him up until he gets another Seth Rollins matchup. We have then Kofi Kingston, who I believe the New Day will help him out. However, he will knock him out on top. Due to he is a tag team champion, and they're not going to give someone that already has the title the money in the bank. That defeats the whole purpose. Then, we have Sheamus. Sheamus will not come out on top. I, I want him to get a title, but he's not going to get the money in the bank. It's just something that's not going to happen, guys, sadly. So, as you guys can see... I think, also, in the next match, that Dean Ambrose will come on top. Now, this is what I think is going to happen because of the money in the bank. What I think is going to happen, Dean's going to come on top. However, it's probably going to be like a disqualification or something again, causing him to not actually get the title. He's therefore going to attack Seth Rollins a lot, and then there's one person that's going to come on top, and I believe this man is going to be the money in the bank winner. Roman Reigns. He will attack Dean Ambrose. Just completely taking him out. Completely taking him out. And therefore be a part of the authority. He will then get a match 
against Seth Rollins at the next pay-per-view. Dean would be furious about this one is chance, and then there we have the Shield triple threat. However, this means that Seth Rollins will no longer be a part of the Authority. Therefore, Roman Reigns will be taking a new spot in there and be the new future of the WWE. Seth will not stand for this and try to rebel. However, it will not work as he'll have Kane to deal with, Roman Reigns to deal with, as well as J&J Security. However, J&J Security will be kind of partially going their own separate way, maybe even helping out Roman Reigns. However, it will not be needed because he's a juggernaut and we know how strong Roman Reigns is portrayed to be. Dean Ambrose will also be kind of infuriated and try and attack Roman Reigns. Therefore, kind of being that man, being that one to kind of rebel against everything that's happening with the WWE, causing him to be more insane, attacking in a really, really crazy fashion. Roman Reigns will then still be beating up people. He'll be the one in Raw that just takes out everyone and just the last man standing over these next couple of weeks causing him to be looked at as the one that's going to be the new WWE Champion however Seth Rollins will still be the champion for a while until the man that we know is going to be a force to be reckoned with comes back and that's going to be Barack Lesnar Brock will then go against both men and Roman Reigns will come on, on top. Then we'll see the rivalry even more further over between Brock and Roman Reigns causing this whole feud to end a while from now. That's what I believe is going to happen. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to yours truly, The Best One MTK, for more just crazy goodness, guys. Also, get money in the bank tonight. It's going to be epic. It's going to be crazy. Don't forget to take care. Spike your hair. Not going to tell you that. See you guys tonight at Money in the Bank. I'll be tweeting live. My stuff's down below. See you guys 